1920. Grieving the love of her life, Boy Capel, Gabrielle Chanel flees to Venice with Mizia and her husband, the painter José Maria Sert. She marvels at a city in which art reigns, in the mystery of the palaces, the silence of the churches, and the secrecy of the museums. This beauty is a shock and a comfort. Venice is to become one of Chanel's greatest sources of inspiration. Josie Maria delves beneath a romantic picture postcard setting to explore the hidden corners of the city. Jojo knew everything Gabrielle later confides. She learns to differentiate styles and starts painting, discovers the sumptuous colors of Tintoretto. Coco, ever sensitive to the symbolic, holds a special place in her heart for the lion. The emblem of the city is also her star sign and will go to punctuate her creations like a talisman. Mizia, Sert and Gabrielle make for an eye-catching trio as they glide along the canals, emerging from the shadows of the Murano glass workshops into the sunlit lagoon. The colors are powerful. Gold carpets the cupolas and clings to medals and crosses, inlaid in mosaics and adorning the Byzantine splendors of St. Mark's Basilica. In the company of the Certs, Gabrielle, now at the helm of a flourishing fashion house, discovers a glamorous and eccentric world, the cosmopolitan aristocracy which turned Venice and the Lido into a fashionable resort. Gabrielle, in beach pajamas, a white linen suit, never shorts, or an evening gown, is the guarantor of elegance for this elite society. Among these lovers of liberty and audacity, she is a darling. At the beach, on the terrace of Café Florian and at palatial parties, Gabrielle Chanel embodies the Venice newspapers are raving about. Behind her public persona, she is a discreet and loyal friend. She has secretly financed a production by the Ballet Russe, the Rite of Spring, and when Diaghilev, the creator of the company, dies in 1929, she bears the costs of the funeral arrangements. Missy and Gabrielle will accompany the gondola taking Diaghilev to his final resting place on San Michele Island. When Chanel is not staying in Venice, she recreates the city in her apartment Rue Cambon, which she fills with lions, baroque and crystal cherubs, polychrome wood and carved wood side tables, to keep the spirit of this labyrinth of art and emotions as guardian of her inspiration.